What is going on everyone and welcome to the Stock Trends uh, channel. So in this video, a super quick, simple up to date video on SNDL. We're gonna be doing in this video, we're gonna be diving into the current price action the chart, what we have in terms of the short float, things like that. And of course, looking at some price targets based on our own technical analysis here in this video. So all we ask is a thumbs up on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for videos just like this non-biased approach. One more thing really quick, guys, this video is not sponsored, but all we do ask is that you check out some other channels we have linked down below. Thomas Carvo and TC Trading, two great channels to check out down below that we also run here as well as this channel. So really quick, diving into SNDL, Sundial Growers, a stock that a lot of people have been talking about for quite some time, made a crazy run back at the end of January, early February, where the stock went from sub 50 cents actually back in 2020, significantly lower, is actually down in under 20 cents actually for some time. And then it made a run up over $3, actually hitting nearly $5, I believe, in the pre-market hours here. And this was on the 11th of February. Now, it has come down since, and we'll dive into our own charts in just one second. I want to talk about some of this right here. 15% short as of right now, 1.66 billion share float. That's how many shares are available to trade the public. Now, what you need to understand here with SNDL is this stock is a pretty high float. Now, when you look at penny stocks in general, you'll see a lot of stocks under that $5 price point, under $10 even sometimes. And you'll look at the float and you'll see, you know, 100 million shares, 50 million shares, even 10 million or even under 10 million shares. When you see that and a cheap stock, that tells you this is a very volatile stock. So SNDL isn't as volatile as some of these crazy pennies, although it has shown that that volatility back, uh, back, you know, at the beginning of 2021. So it's a little bit safer than, let's say, your super crazy penny stock uh, to a degree. But that said, you understand that with that, there still comes, you know, enough volume. You can still get that volatility. And relatively speaking, in terms of volume, we're not seeing the volume that we saw by these volume bars. We're not even getting close to those levels so far. You know, at least in June, the end of May, early June. So that's something to pay attention to. But if that volume does continue to increase, or we see, you know, continued volume on the rise, but expect SNDL to make a bigger push. So let's dive into our own charts here on Weeble. So diving into SNDL as we take a peek right now, we have this line in the sand kind of here at one dollar. That's just kind of a psychological level to be watching. Area of resistance when you're below area of support as above. So now we're above $1. So I'd expect $1 to be an area of support for SNDL as it you know holds above that level. Now we had a little slight red day here today. If we dive into, let's take a look at the one hour chart. We look at the one hour chart. We're kind of setting up with SNDL putting in somewhat higher lows here. We have a low at 107 and we have a low from today down around 110. So you want to see SNDL. We can actually draw some lines just to make it a little bit easier. If you want to see SNDL, you know, continuing its uptrend, you want to see it holding up over 110 or so. If it drops below Low, not a big deal, but you want to see it holding over about 108, 107 would be ideal. And then, of course, one dollar will be the area of support to watch to the downside. Next resistance here will be up around 125, over 125. SNDL looks like it has a nice shot up here towards that 150, which was an area we saw as resistance just a few days back. So it looks like 150 resistance will be the next key area to break above for SNDL. And over 150, we're going to have some of these tops of candles right here, up around that 170 to 175. Over 175, probably a clear shot towards $2 with SNDL. Just make sure you understand that if we see volume and momentum to the upside, those are key levels to at least draw in, make note of as areas that the stock could get held up at. You could look to sell into those levels as areas of resistance. Now, in terms of downside, we have that $1, then below $1, we have a nice area of consolidation down here in SNDL, down around the 70 cent level. So if it does come down below $1, there's some solid support down towards 75 cents. Doesn't look like that's gonna be happening at least anytime soon. So it may take a, quite some time for volume to really fade out for SNDL to come down that low, but it's definitely a stock to keep an eye on, definitely something you're watching going forward. Another thing to also note with SNDL that's going to be holding it back in the near term is that there's a lot of bag holders. When we say bag holders, what does that mean? A lot of people bought into SNDL when it was at peak hype back here when it was up over two, three dollars. And what they're doing is they've ended up averaging down, averaging down. Their average may be up around 150. So as SNDL pushes on up and they get close to their average, they get close to break even, they're inclined to sell the stock just to get out for a wash, right? Just to get out for break even because they don't want to deal with it anymore. And so that's going to be a lot of selling pressure on the stock as it tries to make a move up. So that's also one thing to note, just not even with SNDL, just a lot of stocks in general that have gotten a lot of popularity. If they have gone through an extended period of a sell-off and they start rebounding, those rebounds are usually very, very tough to break through. You need a lot of volume to break through to those rebounds, which we're kind of seeing right now. We need a lot more 
more volume on SNDL, these volume bars, we got to start seeing, you know, 500 million shares, uh, maybe even a billion shares traded. Once you start seeing a billion shares traded in a day, that's substantial volume for SNDL. And that will probably be enough to send it up towards relative new highs, right? Compared to that 150, 175, even two dollars in the near term. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you got something out of the video, consider subscribing. We'll link those channels down below, Thomas Carvo and TC Trading. If you guys want more access to a personal channel and a tutorial-based channel, definitely consider checking out those channels in the description box down below, as well as a link down below to Weeble, where you can get access to this platform trading from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. Eastern and some free stocks in the process. Appreciate you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.